February 2015 marks exactly one year since we started the What Went Down series. We aren't going to cover the same events in this episode as we did last year. If you want a full roundup of what went down in February, then check out the link on your screen now to watch February 2014's edition. But as for now, here's what went down in the month of February. In this year's webisode, we are going to start with looking at Jack Dragna. Dragna was born in Corleone, Sicily, and moved to the U.S. at the age of seven. He would stay in the U.S. for around 10 years before heading back to Italy, where he was stationed back in Corleone as part of the military during a duty in the First World War. By the age of 23, he was back in the U.S., and while working under Joe at his own, he operated gambling ships off the California coastline until the United States government shut them down in 1939. Dragna also participated in the Havana Conference of 1946, during which time he built up a fierce rivalry with Jewish mobster Bugsy Siegel. Siegel wasn't the only mobster that Dragna had run-ins with. He also came into conflict with Siegel's bodyguard, who was Mickey Cohen. After the famous Bugsy Siegel hit of 1947, Cohen and Dragna went head-to-head -head with each other for many years, with Cohen surviving numerous hit attempts which were contracted out by Dragna, including the bombing of Cohen's home. Jagna eventually died in Hollywood of natural causes at the age of 64 on February 23, 1956. Tommy Gagliano was known as the Quiet Don because he knew how to keep secrets and control one of the nation's most powerful crime families by being very low-key. Gagliano was an early leader of the Lucchese crime family, but we don't know much about his life after he took over the family, except that he sat on the commission during its most critical early period and stayed there for 20 years without interruption by law enforcement. So secretive was Tommy Gagliano that no one seemed to know for sure when exactly he died. It was either 1951 or 1953, and Tommy Lucchese claimed during the Senate hearing that it was February 16, 1951. One theory has it that Gagliano stepped down in 1951 and handed the reins to Lucchese, then died two years later. The arrangement was kept secret in order to keep the feds away. Finally, we round up this edition of What Went Down series by the death of Jack McGurn, who was also known as Machine Gun Jack McGurn. He was a key member in the outfit, the Chicago outfit that is, under the reign of Al Capone. But what makes his death so interesting is that he was involved with the plan of the 1929 St. Valentine's Day Massacre. McGurn played a major role in stealing police cars, uniforms, and setting up a call between a local booze hijacker and Moran to confirm the meeting, time, and place. The twist to this tale is that McGurn was assassinated by three men using machine guns on February 15, 1936, one day after the seventh anniversary of the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Just a coincidence? We'll let you decide. You're now rocking with the best NCS Coaster Nostra. Welcome to the Sting of Vaz. The search is over. Every series helps bring you a step closer to the life of the mob without dangerous exposure of what went down. Plus mobster of the month. Original content if you're searching on a hunt for the who's who or the best dressed guy. The type of guns they use, the fuse and mob wives. We supply everything as soon as you log on to the National Crime Syndicate.com. From John Gotti to Dawn back to Mustache P, Big Joe, Al Capone, and Fire Lansky. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Cause the code of silence. Here, no longer reply, so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned in. Cause over here we like to keep this thing moving.